How do we lose Jake Anderson's father, Keith Anderson? Devastating update by Jake. Captain Jake Anderson of the Deadliest Catch may be sailing the seas as a captain of the saga right now, but there was a moment when the loss of loved ones crushed him. Deadliest Catch fans might recall that, according to Como News, he learned that his father, Keith Anderson, was missing just a few months after the passing of his sister, Chelsea Dawn Anderson, in 2009. He was a deckhand on the Northwestern at the time. Many people won't likely recall that Captain Phil Harris suffered a stroke while unloading crabs from the Cornelia Marie just a few weeks after Jake learned that his father had disappeared. According to People, the captain got out of a coma and spent five days with his family members before leaving this world. It was quite a miracle. As Jake Anderson saw Josh and Jake Harris say goodbye to their father as he was experiencing the same loss, he was tested to the core and battling feelings of jealousy, according to Entertainment Weekly. What happened to Keith, Jake Anderson's dad? Jake's father was reported missing on January 6, 2010. Como News said Keith failed to return from a short trip to Snohomish County. The retired high school counselor was last seen in the Sultan area. According to reports, Keith had never been apart from his wife for even a single night. When Jake learned of his father's disappearance, he worked on a Delius Catch episode. Delius Catch viewers felt awful for Jake since he was still grieving the loss of his sister. Additionally, Como News reported Keith Anderson's cell phone was found in a mud puddle near his house and his white canopy top 1999 Ford Ranger pickup truck was found about two weeks later stuck on a logging road in a remote area of Skagit County about 20 miles northwest of Darrington. Beyond that, nobody knew what had become of Jake's father. Keith Anderson's whereabouts were unknown for a little more than two years. In June 2012, a hiker found skeletal remains in a remote part of Skagit County, according to Como News. The bones were recognized as Keith Anderson's when recovered approximately a mile from where his truck was found. Jake is still seeking justifications. Jake gives devastating updates. In Deadliest Catch, The Viking Returns Season 1, Episode 5, Jake Anderson continues to struggle with internal issues brought on by the passing of his father. He says, There are things about my father's death that we'll never find answers to. Jake's dad and family were fishermen when they emigrated from Norway, just like Sig Hansen. To explore more about his father, Jake decided to visit Norway. During the episode, Jake said, I don't think I ever thought fishing in Norway was even an achievable goal. It's changed my life because now I'm realizing I'm getting to do something that my father would have always wanted me to do. Jake stated that Keith Anderson decided on his own to leave Norway and immigrate to the United States. Unfortunately, Keith subsequently developed a drug addiction to the painkillers given to him after his surgery. Jake said, the last time my dad was healthy in mind, body, and spirit, he was here. My dad always wanted me to know more about Norway, where it came from. He was most proud of being a Norwegian American. I'm sure I would have come here a lot sooner if it wasn't for what happened to my dad. He added, everything that I learned over here about him helps me feel closer to him. I'm closer to him here than I am in America.